Today we're doing a short feel-good postnatal yoga class. It's very normal when you have a baby to feel overwhelmed or overstimulated. For many of us, when we're stressed or overstimulated, our nervous system can go into a flight reaction where we really need some alone time and to decompress, but that can be really hard when you have a baby. We are all just doing our best and I want you to know that you are a great mom. I will provide safe modifications if you have a diastasis recti or you're recovering after a C-section after you've been cleared for exercise. You can find a comfortable seated position. We'll start with some gentle neck half circles. Take a couple of diaphragmatic breaths. We can place our hands on our ribs. Big inhale in. Ribs expand all around. Shoulders are relaxed. Exhale. Tighten your deep inner core muscles. Inhale. Let's add our arms now, bringing our arms up on the inhale. Exhale. We can stretch to one side. Exhale up, stretching to the other side. Exhale up. Let's take our hands to our knees and we can circle our chest around. Let's go the other way. We can stretch out through our upper back, which is great if you're feeding your baby. Let's take our arms out. We're gonna do eagle arms, crossing one arm over, bending your elbows, and then you can reach for your thumbs or your hands. Lifting your elbows up slightly, feeling your shoulder blades spread apart. And then we can round out through our upper back. Or option, you can fold all the way forward here. If you're down on the ground, pressing your forearms into the ground, spreading your shoulder blades, ballooning through your upper back. Steady breaths. If you're leaning forward, come on up. Let's switch to the other side. Once you're here, lifting your elbows up, spreading your shoulder blades apart, rounding out, or option to fold forward. Inhale, coming up. Gently release. We're gonna move on to our knees to move into a kneeling lunge. We can take one foot forward, inhale our arms up, and then exhale, pull your shoulder blades and your elbows down behind you. Good. Let's inhale up, move with our breath, exhale engaging the muscles of your back. Inhale up. Keep going. Good, let's release our hands down. You can either clasp your elbows here, or if it's available, clasp your hands. Externally rotate your upper arms. You can lift your hands away if that feels good. 
and then look up, nice chest opener. Keep your ribs pulled down here to protect your core. Beautiful, gently released. We can take our hands to our hips, pressing into your front foot. We can move back, flex your front foot, gentle hamstring stretch, and we'll move back and forth five times. Last one here, let's hold here, steady breaths, re-engaging your core. Good, gently release. Let's switch to our lunge on the other side. Shifting forward, let's tuck our tailbone under into posterior pelvic tilt here. Inhale, our arms up. Exhale, elbows reaching down and back. Inhale, up. Last one here, releasing your hands, clasping your elbows or your hands, externally rotating your upper arms again. Gentle chest opener. Release, bringing our hands to our hips again, moving back into our hamstring stretch, moving with your breath. Continuously bringing our attention back to our core, engaging on the exhale. Let's stay here, breathe. Heel presses into your mat. Gently coming up, we can grab a sip of water. Let's come up to a standing position. We'll set up for a triangle or trikonasana. We can turn our feet to the right side. Let's line our shoulders up over our hips, reach to the side. We can let our bottom arm fall in front of our leg, reach up with our top hand, keeping our core engaged. Steady breaths. Exhale, engage your core, come up. Let's switch our feet around to the other side. Reaching over, Trikonasana. Exhale, coming up. Let's step together. We're gonna move into a balance here. So we can shift our weight to one foot, picking your right foot up. You can grab your knee, or if it's available, you can also grab your big toe. 
So wherever you are, steady breaths here, refocusing on our core. Let's bring our knee or our big toe out to the side. Hips stay facing the front. Beautiful, bringing our foot back in, lowering down. Let's shift our weight to the other foot, spreading your toes, exhale lifting your knee or grabbing your big toe steady breaths engaging your core on the exhale Opening your knee or your big toe out to the side. Coming back through center, releasing down. We're gonna move into chair position, feet hip width distance apart, exhale, Sitting back into your imaginary chair. Inhale up four more times. On this next one, let's hold here. Beautiful release, shake it out. We can come to the top of our mat, hands to namaste, inhale up, exhale, folding forward. You can bend your knees if you need to. Let's come to all fours here. Tuck your toes, we'll press into downward dog. Heels reach down towards the ground, but it doesn't matter if they touch. Your knees can also be bent here to get lots of length in your back. If you have diastasis recti, you can stay here and pedal out through your heels. For more advanced, if twists are safe for you, you can lift one hand off Exhale, reaching for your opposite ankle. Gently release. Switching to the other side. Exhale. Release. Beautiful, let's bring our knees back down to the mat. We're gonna switch into a modified plank or if full side plank is safe for you, you can. Hand up, exhale, engage your core, reach through. Inhale up four more with your own breath. Let's lift our top leg off for five, four, three, two, one. Release down, beautiful. Let's switch to the other side. We're gonna do the exact same thing if you're not facing the screen. Modified plank, bringing one arm up. Exhale, reach your top arm through. 
inhale up four more here last time reaching down hand reaches up let's lift our top leg up holding for five four three two one release down let's bring our hand back down to the ground we can come down onto our forearms as we let our knees slide out if this doesn't feel good for you you can also do a wide leg forward fold just coming into a gentle stretch here continue to breathe Press your shoulders down away from your ears. Core stays engaged. Good. We can walk our hands slightly down to support ourselves, bring our feet in, and then slide our knees back in. Let's take one more quick child's pose before we finish up. Forehead down, armpits pressed down towards the mat, spreading your shoulder blades, big breath. Release out. We can walk our hands up. Let's shift in to Shavasana here. Getting down on our sides. We can release our feet out and open. Hands, palms up. Take another big breath in. Sigh out. Feel your body heavy on the ground. Scan your body and relax all the different muscles. And continue to rest here or wiggle your fingers and toes stretch your toes and fingers in opposite direction let's roll over onto our side to come up again namaste